The mobile clinic in Leeds is a uh, first in the kind example of a collaboration between Scrodema and Reno UK, a charity and a university. We have two scopes. The first is to raise awareness of Raynaud and we have been having already a tremendous success of people just walking by and recognizing their hands. We had the feeling that there are many people with Raynaud that are not aware of the condition. And if they are aware, there are steps that they can do. And the second is that through Raynaud awareness, we want to promote an early diagnosis of scleroderma. We know that Raynaud is the first symptom of scleroderma. It can be a preceding scleroderma for a very long time or sometimes just a few months and the only way to promote an early diagnosis of scleroderma is to diagnose Raynaud early. I think first of all it's really important for people to know what it is that they've got because then they can seek appropriate advice and support and where necessary treatment. I think a lot of people who we've met today and yesterday suspected they had Raynaud's but felt that when they'd been to see their GP, it wasn't really treated very seriously. And if you know what you've got, uh, and it is more severe, then you could have uh, an appropriate drug treatment, which actually would help enormously. So in the mobile clinic, people that recognize their hand, they, they are approached, they ask some questions about if that is real, very nodes or not. In some cases, it can be simply a side effect of medication. And after that, we are doing a thermography and a capillaroscopy. A thermography is a thermal image of the hands where we measure the temperature of the fingers. We are able to see whether there is any finger that is colder than others. And the capillaroscopy is a validated diagnostic test when we measure the capillaries at the nail fold, which is a, it's, it's, it's the terminal part of the skin before the nail, when the skin is very thin. And we can spot if there is any changes in the morphology of these capillaries that is suggestive of scleroderma.